Okay. Um, I would put, so we don't know this character. Um, so uh, I would put Brian's bedroom here okay, in yeah. capitals. And I would put Brian here in capital because what we want to see is the name of the character sort of stands out. Mm. Uh, and then after that, you need to put Brian, comma, 17, sandy hair, um, blah, blah, blah. Just a little bit of description because you remember what's happening with these screenplays is it lands on the desk of a producer and the producer's going, am I interested in this? Who is this guy? Would give him, paint me a picture, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? So you need a little bit of character description there. Okay. Um, Right, so presumably, how do we know it's 2.22 two, two a.m.? Obviously, yeah, it's the, the clock, though. Then you need to say that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. The clock, so the digital clock on his bedside table reads 2.22 two, two, two a.m., okay. something like yeah. that. Be specific. Uh, now, in some screenplays, they would put this in capitals as well, mm. but it's up to you. Uh, he's actually looking confusedly. But yeah, looking confusing is on the bedside table. Right, now this, there's a huge amount in here. Brian is researching and reading about strange disappearances that have been happening around the world. This, you know, he looks at his phone on the bedside table and a moment later he goes, Mom, I'm going to get into the shower oh. now. Jake wants a lift, so we'll leave in half an hour. What this looks like, like in 20 minutes of researching. Does he research before he has his shower? It just doesn't make sense to me here. Uh, I think it will probably just be on his phone and he'll read like a little notification and he'll open it up and then he won't really acknowledge it. He'll just dismiss it in a way and just get on with his morning routine. Yeah. Right, I think it would be better, because it's quite hard to shoot a phone and to get all that content yeah, over with yeah. the phone. I think it would be better to um, have him have an alert on his laptop or on a computer and have him go and sit at the laptop and have it over his shoulder oh, and yeah. to him go, you know, have him muttering or something like that and saying, no, oh, I can't believe it. Yeah. What's going on here? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. And then your reaction shot, okay? Um, but you need to describe what's going on here and you need to be more specific about it. He sees the headline, an image comes up of, mm. yeah? yeah? Just yeah, yeah. again, for me, if I'm the producer, I'm just thinking, yeah, what disappearances? Tell me, give me more detail, okay? Oh, wow. um, yeah. Good. Don't need a capital letter there. Oh. Right, um, so this bit, this bit is sounds bore, looks boring to me because he's not doing anything, all right? Just having someone standing there calling twice and then leaving a vestige in voicemail, if you think about Shaun of the Dead, you'd never see that. There'd always yeah. be something going on. He'd always be doing something. So he should be looking in the shed or looking somewhere or actively doing something. You know, you're wasting film opportunity if you just got a character standing there talking okay you can have a character talking and doing something oh, okay like him walking around checking yeah stuff. cupboards oh. or you know yeah, yeah, yeah. something like that if he's genuinely looking for her uh need to do something there yeah, yeah. okay and then he gives up uh Right. I don't believe he's just going to fall asleep. You know, his mother's gone missing. He turns on the TV. There's nothing there. And then he goes, oh. does he? No. Nah, yeah. Doesn't seem 
doesn't seem the time for him to go to sleep unless you do a kind of time lapse. But even then, I don't know. You need to think about that. I'm not sure where you're going with that. Um, okay, right. That's it. Just need more. You decide. I mean, I can hear what you're saying with the end of it. That's 